how's the transition been with spring football in your offense? Um, I, I think it's been good. Um, I really like what we're all about up front. You know, our uh, our tackles that are, uh, are replacing our two starters and and our interior guys. You look at Skyler Allen and Eric Herman. Uh, they've played a tremendous amount of football for us and, and are, are very talented guys. So we'll have, I think, a very good offensive line with uh, uh, with with depth there. And so that's always uh, certainly a, a, a great place to to start. Um, offensively, hopefully um, we'll be able to put some points on the board. Uh, Tyler will be a key to that and certainly his success as a thrower as well as a runner uh, is, is going to help us a great deal. Let's meet uh, the two young men that uh, Coach Solich uh, has here today. Outstanding all Mac performers just to embody everything you want in, uh, in college football. and cornerback Travis Carey and uh, quarterback Tyler Tettleton. Travis, let's start with you. Uh, again, you're upperclassman, leader of this football team. You have the kind of success you've had the last couple of seasons. Uh, what do you do as a leader to come back? As we said, every football team's different. They take on, uh, you know, different shapes. You can't just assume you're going to pick up where you were uh, in, in winning in, after your bowl win last year. So, as, as a leader of the football team, what steps do you take to make sure everybody's on the same page? Um, I would definitely say that our number one step would be not necessarily feeling complacent and comfortable of where we ended up last year and thinking that, you know, since we did that last year, that it's going to happen this year. You know, so I think that would be the first key step that needs to be taken to address because every year is only it, it, it's its own you know so you have to approach every year as it's different year mm -hmm. so getting the players to rally around you know us as captains and leaders we have to establish that this year we have to put in if not more work than we did last year to accomplish greater things you know so yeah. I think that that's something that really needs to be addressed you know just not feeling comfortable in where we're at and thinking that everything's just going to fall into place because it's not at the end of the day and you still have to put in a tremendous amount of work. Travis, uh, well said. Uh, eight starters back uh, off your defense and of course uh, uh, a real bonus is having Neil Wynn back who missed most of the year I guess with an MCL last year. Uh, you're on the Thorpe list. You're one of the outstanding corner. And, uh, and by the way, everybody talks about the quarterbacks in the Mid-American Conference. There are a lot of outstanding cornerbacks in the conference this year that will be competing against that. Um, I, I think that if I was Coach Solich, I'd be very, very excited about this defense. Uh, you had a good spring defensively, you felt, the whole defense? I think that we do have a lot of new depth that is uprising from the spring, you know, that, um, that will fill in some positions and that will really give us a, a better look and a different look in a sense, you know. So I think the spring gave us an opportunity to us as players to showcase our talents to the coaches and you know and, and give them a sense of where we stand as far as individual players you know so the spring it really gave us a great opportunity for the freshmen and players that really want a shot at um, being on the field more often this year so I think it was great. Good. Coach Solis mentioned uh, his quarterback Tyler Tettleton now I, I've got to tell all of you before we, we start with Tyler Coach Graber and I are, are both born and raised right here in the city of Detroit. I grew up about five minutes from here. We saw his daddy hit a whole lot of home runs at Old Tiger Stadium, uh, outstanding uh, switch hitting catcher, Mickey Tettleton. I just had to throw that out there because uh, one of my favorite Detroit Tigers of all time, as we say uh, hello to quarterback Tyler Tettleton. Uh, so here you are. Your dad is, uh, as we said, uh, an all-star in Major League Baseball. Um, you go the football route, Oklahoma. So how does Coach Solis get you out of uh, the state of Oklahoma to become an Ohio Bobcat? Uh, you know, it was, it was real late that uh, they approached me and talked to me, and uh, you know, got a chance to come up there and uh, you know take a visit and see what they had to offer, and um, you know, loved loved the direction they were headed, and uh, you know, loved what they were all about, and so far it's been great. Tyler, we've been talking all morning about this class of, of quarterbacks in the Mid-American Conference, and you're certainly one of the elite uh, of this class. Uh, you're asked to do a lot both ways, throwing the football and running the football, and have been very, very successful at that. 
What do you think? What's your goals this year? What do you have to get better at? Uh, where are you headed? Uh, you know, just just being a leader and uh, you know being the guy that everybody can count on to to make big plays when they're needed and um, you know just getting out there with the guys and knowing that they'll be comfortable with me and just you know just surrounding them with uh, what we want to do and everything and getting those young guys up there. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm real excited for for what we have replacing you know Levon and Riley and Dante yep. and those tackles and um, it's going to be a fun year with those guys. The, the offense, so, uh, Tyler, seems to be you know tailor made uh, to suit you. You know, you have the ability to uh, you know if you need uh, five seven step drops, but to get out of it and use your legs as well. And Coach Sola seems to have uh, you know structured that to you. In terms of you mentioned, uh, I mean, w without Levon Brazil and, and and some of the other talents that, that you've lost, how much extra work do you feel like you had to put in this off season in terms of getting players that don't have that kind of experience around you up to speed? Uh, we had to put in a lot of work, you know, and uh, it started day one right after uh, you know the bowl game and all that, and getting in the off season and spring and the summer, and uh, you know, so far it's been really really good, and uh, you know, those guys have uh, stepped up and. Um, you know, we're, we're going to have a lot of guys that we can give the ball to and allow them to make plays and stuff. And um, like Coach was talking about, our line, you know, they're, they're going to be great for us this year and they're going to give me a lot of time to get the, the ball in those playmakers' hands. And, um, you know, that's what I'm excited about. And I'm excited for those guys and ready to get going. Coach, uh, outstanding kicker back uh, in Matt Weller. He's uh, on the Luke Rosa watch. Uh, you do lose, so. Uh, your long snapper and your punter, right. I know that had to be an emphasis uh, last spring. Where are we at? Well, um, I think we got guys that have very good potential there, but um, uh, Grant Venom is, uh, uh, will be our punter going into uh, the Penn State uh, game, and Miles Chapman will, will most likely be our, our long snapper. And so uh, there will be guys that uh, haven't punted or long snapped in a, in a game before, and, and so remains to be seen as to how that all plays out. Uh, maybe we just won't punt. We'll just go for it on fourth down. I, I'm not real sure uh, how it's going to play out. But, uh, uh, but they had a good spring. Um, they're very competitive guys. Uh, we've got a lot of good athletes on special teams to surround them. And so I, I think we'll be okay. For Travis and Tyler, both of you guys, I mean, you know, 11 wins last year, uh, first bowl win in Ohio history, something to be tremendously proud of. But Travis, you're the hunted now. Right? You're you're the hunted. You've kind of got you know the bullseye squarely on your back. I mean, everyone knows in this conference uh, what Ohio football has established. So, does that you you talked earlier about what needs, but does that change your mindset in terms of knowing that you got every program in this conference now that wants to uh, use you as the measuring stick and knock you down a peg? I think that makes us more hungry. You know, I think it makes us want to achieve more. And it puts us on a pedestal that every day that we now know that we have to compete. We can't waste practices. You know, we can't waste days of getting better. You know, we can't waste those because we now know that everybody wants some of what we got, you know. Yeah. So at that, at that sense, you know, it makes, us, it makes us more hungry and it makes us want to compete every day at practice and not um, take that lightly. So I, I like it, you know, yeah. and I'm sure as a team that we like it too because it gives us more of an edge on what we need to do for the season. No. Tyler, how about you? Same. I, I think I think it's great for the university, and uh, you know that's the reason I, I came here. You know to have that target on our back, and you know the past three or four years, you know we've we've uh, we've had that, and uh, you know it's it's great to have, and uh, you know I think we're going to continue to have success too. So, yeah. Yeah. Coach, uh, you have a couple of really yeah. well-spoken uh, young, young men. men. Uh, you got to be very proud of them. 108 wins now. It's been a, an interesting road for you uh, all the way through, and, and, and we've known each other a long time. And uh, but wow, you just have to really feel wonderful about your tenure at Ohio yeah. and uh, and where the program is and uh, your family. Uh, uh, talk about that a little. Well, bit. No, there's no question that um, what has been accomplished at Ohio has, has been a source of pride for. Uh, for the university, for the football program, as well as the athletic department, and, and I feel really good ab uh, about what we've been able to accomplish. And you know, if you look at my history, uh, I've been involved with four schools. Um, two of them were high schools. Both of those were rebuilding programs, and I had as much fun uh, 
rebuilding those programs as I've ever had in football. Yeah. So in undertaking the Ohio job, um, I, I felt uh, comfortable uh, in, in feeling that uh, I'd be able to help that program out and, and develop that program to where it's getting the recognition um, uh, that it's getting. And, and uh, you know, at some point in time, uh, down the road when the, when the career is all over with, if we continue to win football games at, at Ohio and have the kind of success that we uh, uh, want to have, I'll feel pretty good about my career. Head Coach Frank Solich, love seeing you as always. Best of luck, 2012. Defending Mac East champion, bowl winner, Travis Carey, Tyler Tettleton. Thanks for being with us, both of you young men. Outstanding examples of Ohio student athletes. Thank both you. Of you. Thank you. All right, Ohio's Bobcats, uh, yes, with, uh, they're, yeah, they're going to be hunted, yeah, always, no question about that. But something tells me that Frank Solich and his uh, young men, how about those two for uh, wow. well spoken representatives wow. of uh, engaging? very articulate young men for their college football program. Something tells me they'll be up to the task. Well, you know, virtually everybody has picked Ohio U uh, to win the East, Ohio. Right. And, uh, but you know what? Uh, there's some people out there that are hunting them pretty good. Yeah. Uh, you know, in Kent State and Bowling yeah, oh, yeah. Green and Miami, uh, it, Miami oh, and uh, case, right? it, it'll be a very competitive uh, battle right to the end, I'm sure.